Hey guys, right, I'm back with another video for you and I finally got a gap in uh, around everybody else because there's lots of people trying to film today. Now, uh, I am using my camera handheld because we've had some uh, technical issues, but we will make do. So second motherboard, uh, we are going to be taking a look at the X870E Strix. Now, you can go and see all the other uh, motherboards that I'm going to be featuring on the channel. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment and all of that stuff, but... X670E gaming Wi-Fi. Now, the motherboard does have 18 plus two plus two uh, VRMs, although we haven't been told exactly what the spec of the power phases are yet. We do have three PCI Express 5 NVMEs at the top. These are all uh, 80s, but there are a couple of uh, PCI Express 4 NVMe slots underneath here, I think it is. We haven't been allowed to take them apart to be able to find out. They do have a new memory technology which goes in here, it's called Nitro Path. Now what they've uh, told us on one of the slides is uh, the ends of the um, memory fins that come up inside the slots normally go right to the very top of the slot and it's the very top bit of the pin that normally picks up the most interference. They've made it significantly shorter and gold plated as well which they're saying should reduce 14% of interference overall but allows them to be able to possibly run depending on the memory kit and the CPU and everything up to 400 MTs a second faster with this technology so that is uh, going to be amazing for those guys out there that like to have very high memory speeds or very uh, the, basically the professional overclockers what we can do is have a look at um, uh, PWM slots so we have one two three four at the top we're going to come down the side and see if we can find another one and I don't think we can then we've got another one two three four there so there's eight fan slots that I can find in total on there there's lots of uh, external USB-C connectors uh, well there's one there in fact there is only one I thought there was going to be two that's an interesting uh, point to bring up only one of those but it does have two different USB 3s with the, um, the larger connector uh, four SATA in total PCI Express is 16 and then it does go down to 28 if you run anything down in this so that's worth remembering for adding cards and everything like that but there's also always a question about the difference between uh, the two Strixes because we've got the 870F and then we've got the 870EE and if I'm honest when you have a look up here it is connectors but also it is all of the M.2 connectors here because the rest of these are buried this one actually has less PCI Express 5 I think I think it's only two PCI Express 5 and then three fours whereas this is three fives and two fours actually no I do I, I beg your pardon this is two fives two fours um, so that's five in total that's four in total so you do get a lot more for your money or not a lot more for your money because you're spending a lot more but you do get a lot more when you spend that bit of extra money getting the EE um, solid connectors is one of the things as well uh, round the back it is Wi-Fi 7 if you have a look and it is the quick release connectors only a HDMI out uh, we do have USB 4 there's also on this one 5G Ethernet whereas the normal one is only 2.5 We've no idea on prices yet. I have had to wait a long time to be able to film this little segment, but hopefully you'll find it uh, interesting and helpful the fact that I showed you the difference between the two Strixes. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Go and have a look at all the stuff on the channel as well. I will be back with more videos very soon.